everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher, and today I'm going to be reacting to Mariah Carey singing All I Want For Christmas Is You, recorded in 1994 when I was a mere two years old. <laughs> I'm super excited to react to this. I love this time of year, celebrating the holidays, seeing everyone that you love. So I'm going to be doing kind of a holiday cheer series where I'm reacting to holiday Christmas music on Tuesdays and I am teaching you how to sing some holiday favorites on Fridays. So definitely tune in for that. So without further ado, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on those notifications. And let's listen to Mariah back in the day. Here we go, pressing play. By the way, she just posted this like a couple weeks ago. This was never on YouTube before. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Oh my God, she is such an icon. So you can tell how young her voice is just by the sound of it in this recording. She is very fresh faced in this. I don't know how old she was in 1994, but wow. Um, you can tell that she just had and still has such a natural sense of what sounds really good for her voice to do. And that's such an important thing about being a singer is really deciding where are my strengths and how can I, as a performer and as a singer, really capitalize on those to really convey the meaning of the music? She effortlessly does these runs, right? They don't sound forced. They don't sound difficult in her voice. They are difficult, <laughs> as you can hear by the many people that have tried to do covers of this song and no cover could ever live up to the original. And additionally, I love that she's just letting her voice doing all the talking. She's not moving around. She's just standing and singing right now. So here we're about to get into the, uh, the faster part. So that um, didn't quite sound as easy. I also think the mic, I don't think it was necessarily going out. I just think that when you have a handheld mic, you really have, it has to be like in the perfect place almost the entire time for the sound to be consistent, which obviously we have way better mics now. That would never be a problem. <clears throat> she probably wouldn't be using a handheld mic now for this song. Maybe she would be, who knows. Um, some artists appreciate having the handheld mic because it acts as almost a little bit of a prop. So even though she had a little bit of tightness in her sound on one of those U's, she recovered very nicely and kept going into it. 
I love that she carries her energy of this song all the way to the ends of the phrases, right? A lot of times we kind of hear pop singers die out a little bit at the end of a phrase, and she just has such amazing use of her breath control that she really carries it all the way to the end of the phrase, and then you can see her taking big breaths. Oh, I won't ask for much this Christmas I won't even wish for snow I'm just gonna keep on waiting Oh, I need the mistletoe And I won't make the list that stand it To the North Pole for standing I won't even stay away to Hear those magic reindeer play So now we're starting to hear her get into a lot more of those random runs that she does. They're just kind of, she sprinkles them into the phrases, which always makes her sound like such a master, um, even at this younger age. One thing I want you guys to notice is that she's using a lot of mix. She's also using a lot of chest, right? So every time she gets back into the chorus, she's really in her chest voice. But then sometimes when she's doing those light runs down, she's almost using more of a female falsetto. And that means that your vocal folds aren't coming together all the way, but that you are in a position of head voice. Okay, so now we're really getting into the belting part. Hold on to your seats. <laughs> Okay, so that belting part was amazing. Um, you can tell that she's really needing that space. Slay, like she really opened up on Slay and she, you could tell she, she might not have even had quite enough space, but she's got it. She got it out and then she, recover, she, she recovered as she went down, which is amazing. Um, I also love how she's just like so nonchalantly like doing all these notes. And it's an important reminder that we don't need to make crazy movements or crazy faces to do difficult runs. A lot of people manifest the um, intensity of the phrases or how fast they're moving into like doing this kind of stuff. And usually that just totally distracts the audience and also takes you out of a, the position of power. Okay, let's finish this out. The audience is like, little did they know. <laughs>
<laughs> Little did they know that in 25 years later, YouTubers would be reacting to this on YouTube and this song would still be the number one Christmas song like ever. So anyway, it just goes to show that you just don't really ever know how a song is going to turn out even when you perform it for the first time and an audience and the audience acts like this. <laughs> Anyway, I am so impressed with that last final part. Of course, that's not in the studio recording all those different runs that she's doing, all the different ways she's, you know, moving around, outlining chords, doing downward scales, upward scales. And one of the things I like the most is that um, when she led up to the big one um, is you, she was actually in a mix. She wasn't belting that and it really was clean and clear. I loved that. I also loved how she was doing um, the same run, like pointing around all the time, all around the audience. So that was fun. What an amazing performance by her. And I can't believe she finally put this on YouTube after all these years. And it only has, it has less than a half million views right now. So Hopefully some people will relive their 90s glory by watching this video and Mariah, you're a queen. We love you. You're always going to be such an icon of the 90s and after as well. Okay guys, I hope you're enjoying this holiday season as much as I am. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. It's the best way to support my channel and leave me a comment on what you thought of Mariah Carey's our OG performance of All I Want For Christmas Is You.